Hi, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. I'm so excited you just purchased the Mila Complete C3 Cat and Dog. I hope you're ready because I'm going to show you exactly how to use and assemble this machine that you just purchased. You're gonna love it. So this is everything that you should have in your box. You should have your wand, your hard flooring attachment, your electric carpeting power head, and your holes. Make sure you have, a, oh, and this um, upholstery attachment. Sorry, I forgot about that. The three cleaning attachments that all Mila's come standard with will already be inside your canister. So those should be there as well. So make sure you guys have all of that and then we'll get started on assembling this. Okay, so now that you've verified that you have everything you should, I'm gonna show you how to set up your machine. So inside the body of your canister is where you're gonna have your bags. So I'm gonna angle this down here. There's a little lever and you're gonna push this black lever and that is how you open the body of your canister. This is your bag clip. This clip is to stay inside the vacuum at all times. A lot of people will just pull this entire thing out, then you have to buy a new bag clip. Um, so make sure this clip stays inside. The only thing that should be removed is the actual clip of the bag. That should be. Only thing that you're removing, this should stay in the canister. This holds your bag in place, so when you're cleaning, all the debris is going straight into your bag, not in the body of your canister. So in your canister, let me put this down right here, there's also another filter. There's a blue pull-down grate, and that is your motor filter. You're going to want to make sure you change your motor filter every four vacuum bags, or every one box. This is your charcoal filter. You can also upgrade this to a HEPA filter if you desire. So we're gonna put the bag in. We're gonna set up the vacuum. Okay, so the easiest way is if I turn it this way. Okay, so this is your canister body and your hose. Your hose is gonna go into your canister body. First time you do it, it's probably going to be a monster. And it's because you have to get these two prongs into the little, like, it's like a male, female, and this is the male, and that's the female part. And you're going to have to, like, use your body weight in there to get it in. That is normal. This means that you have a very secure electrical connection, and that will um, power your carpeting power head. I'm going to stick that in there. Oh, that was actually pretty easy for me this time. So this is your hose. On your hose handle, you're going to see this little X and O button. This O, think of it as off. This will turn off the spinning brush roll portion on your electric carpeting power head. This X, think go or moving, agitating. That will turn the brush roll on. So if you turn your vacuum on and this is not, and your brush roll is not turning on, make sure it's on the X setting. That's normally the issue. So then to your handle. You're going to connect your electric telescoping wand. Everything clicks. And for purposes, because I know that I don't have that much room ahead of me, I'm going to just attach the hard flooring attachment. On the back of your wand, there's a little button. You're going to press that and your wand will telescope. You also have this nice little reservoir on your canister. So for easy storage, you can put your hard flooring attachment in there. And then on the body of your canister, you're going to have some weird looking symbols. That's your suction setting. There's six suction settings on every Mila, and it's going to start at minimum, which is drapery. Then it's going to go to upholstery. Then you're going to see a little rug symbol. That's great for area rugs. And in the ear looking symbol, that means like your ultra quiet mode. So if the baby's sleeping, you um, don't want to make too much noise, your pets are really afraid of vacuums, that would be a really good setting to use. Then you have your um, carpeting setting, and then you have your max setting. Ideally, you should always be cleaning your hard flooring on max. That will give you the best power, best suction, best cleaning ability. And then um, I also clean my carpets on max as well. But if you have any delicate carpeting, um, always just turn down your suction. So for this turbo attachment, 
you have two different ways of putting this on your vacuum. You can attach it to the base of your handle. This is great for if you're cleaning the car. Or you can attach it to the end of your wand. Your electric carpeting power head, which is this bad boy right here. This, if you're standing behind it, there's some numbers. There will be one through five. Level one is going to be the closest to your carpeting. Level five is going to be the furthest away from your carpeting. If you're not sure what number you should be on, start at level five and work your way down. And you should set on, you should settle on a suction or on a set of flooring setting that is really easy for you to push, but you're still picking up everything that you need to. Normal um, carpeting will fall two or three. If you have ultra plush thick pile carpeting, you're probably going to be on a four or five. To release your wand, so when you put your wand in, what if I do that? So when you, re you want to release your wand so you can actually vacuum, you're going to press the left lever, which that will release your wand. To take this entire power head off, you'll step down on this lever and pull up. See, everything clicks, it's so nice. So we went over how to assemble your vacuum, all the parts that you should have gotten with your vacuum cleaner, how to change your bags, where your motor filter was, where your charcoal filter was, um, all the different accessories and where to attach them and how to use them. If you have any more questions on the use or assembly of your vacuum, we are always here to help. Never um, hesitate to reach out to us. We do have live customer service support. They are real people and it's really nice. They really like to vacuum, so <laughs> you're in good hands. Thank you for watching our video on how to unbox your new vacuum. We are so thrilled with your purchase and we are always so excited. Uh, you're going to love your Mila C3 Complete Cat and Dog. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. Have a great day.